Thanks a lot, Kevin. Well, they say they have the best patients in the world here, and you're about to meet one of them, Sergeant Josh Hargis, who, well, he became somewhat of a national sensation after he was injured in Afghanistan, lost both of his legs 13 months ago, and was there lying in his hospital bed, heavily bandaged, connected to a breathing tube as his commander came in to award him the Purple Heart and was believed to be unconscious, drifting in and out of consciousness at the time and somehow uh, found it within himself to salute to his commander. Just amazing, the soldiers and everyone who were there in the hospital. And uh, Josh joins us now along with his wife, Taylor, and that uh, adorable noise you hear in the background <laughs> is little baby Waylon. Uh, so since then, Josh has come a long way and had a baby and all sorts of things have been happening. It's great to be with both of you this morning. And it's very windy out there. I know yeah. that's a bothering Waylon just a bit. Uh, but, it, but if you can, Josh, share uh, for the folks at home a little bit about your story and what happened to you. It was on your fourth tour of Afghanistan. Fourth performance mm -hmm. to Afghanistan. Um, last October of 2013, we were out on a mission and um, there were just IEDs littered all over the place. And I was one of the unfortunate ones to step on one, but I'm still here. I'm still walking and have this beautiful hand family. Handful. Yeah, yeah. And, and a handful as well. Uh, this keeps you busy and motivated. If nothing else, a little baby whale in there. Yeah. Uh, what were those moments like in the hospital? When Do you remember making the salute? I, I do. It was um, very, very spotty. I was in and out a lot. But I do remember them announcing that my commanding officer was present in the room and instincts just took over and pulled my hand from the straps that were... They're keeping me on the bed, and we're in a dress salute. And, and Taylor, now that we've handed off Waylon for just a second, uh, we'll let you talk. So you posted this picture online and a letter from the, uh, your commander who said it was the greatest single moment that he had ever experienced uh, during his time in the Army. Tell me about the reaction. Well, I was overcome with pride and emotion, and I think that's why it gained so much attention because it was able to bring an issue that's still at hand. Our guys are still dying. They're still coming back with life-altering injuries and they're still proud of what they're doing. And I think it just brought a sense of pride to the nation, everyone who shared it and who liked it. Well, we share it with you. Uh, we thank you both for your service uh, to this country, Josh, and, and you, Taylor, because the families are so important also, and we have to remember that, and we'll have an awful lot to share. Great role model for baby Waylon there. So thank you so much, Josh. You're, you're an incredible athlete, and we're going to be demonstrating that later today, too, as we have you on this amazing machine called the Flow Rider. So uh, yeah, you're, you're not done. Uh, go get changed, and, and we'll see you in a bit. Again, Thank thanks you. to both of you. And uh, this family, this Hargis family, just one of the amazing stories that we're going to be telling you all day long of courage and perseverance uh, right here at the Brook Army Medical Center.